Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing my 28 week pregnancy update. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Maddie. I have a 13 month old baby boy. His name is Landon and I'm currently pregnant with baby boy number two and he is due July 16th. And I've decided to document my entire pregnancy here on YouTube. So if you wanna see what my pregnancy has been like so far, keep watching. So I had my appointment the other day and that's why I waited a little bit to upload this video. Um, baby is measuring about a week behind, which isn't abnormal because Landon was measuring um, I don't know, like a week or so behind too. And then he was a whole whopping eight pounds. So I'm not nervous whatsoever. I know he'll gain the weight really quickly. So that happened. Um, I missed my glucose test, which I'm kind of okay about because I really hate getting my blood drawn. So I have to do that next appointment, which is in two weeks. Yep, two weeks. Um, and then I also finally get a 4D ultrasound and I'm so excited because I haven't seen this baby since um, before my gender reveal. So I'm really excited to see what he looks like because I haven't even seen like an actual face picture of him because my placenta is in the way. So I'm hoping that won't be an issue either. So I've woken up a few times in the past week just kind of being totally turned off by food. And I've heard that morning sickness can come back in the third trimester and I'm just literally praying to God that doesn't happen because morning sickness literally kicked my butt up until like the very beginning of my second trimester. I had it for so long and I didn't experience that with Landon, um, third trimester like nausea. So I'm hoping it was just I don't know, a little phase and it doesn't carry on because I really cannot <laughs> deal with any more morning sickness this pregnancy. I had to talk to my doctor about the pelvic pain I've been experiencing because like walking is starting to become a struggle, especially when I'm at work because I'm on my feet for hours on end. I start to like waddle intensely and people comment on it and I know I look absolutely ridiculous. Like I feel like I'm about to birth this baby out any moment. Um, but the pressure and the pain is like so intense. Like it's kind of like a stinging, shooting pain down there and it just, it hurts so bad. And she said basically just to get a belly band to like decrease the pressure down there. So I have to go and buy one of those. I'm hoping it works because this waddling <laughs> so early on really isn't doing me any justice. <laughs> so I'm hoping to get that taken care of. Something really weird that's been going on in the past week is the fact that I'm starting to crave things other than foods and by that I mean smells. I craved weird smells in my last pregnancy, one of which I'm craving this time around again and that's the smell of laundry detergent and you probably think I'm insane, but you can research it, Google it, do whatever. Um, it happened last time with Landon and I thought I was going crazy. Um, and then I did like a bunch of research on it and it's completely normal to crave smells at the end of your pregnancy. And I am craving the smell of laundry detergent. I don't go out of my way to smell it, but when I do smell it, I take my time <laughs> in that general area to just be like, that's nice. <laughs> I've also kind of felt the need to start munching on ice again. I was addicted to chewing ice in my pregnancy with Landon, especially towards the end. I even called my mom and I was like, is this normal? Like, is this a symptom I don't understand? She said it could be a case of low iron, but my iron levels were fine, so it was just a pregnancy symptom. And I'm telling you, every single time I drink anything, like even if I wasn't drinking anything, I had like a cup of ice, um, and I started to chew on it a little bit more now. And I'm, I don't know, I experienced it really later on in my pregnancy with Landon. So it's starting a little bit earlier, but it kind of subsided. I don't really feel the need to do it, but I love chewing ice. I don't know, it's so, it's, it's just crazy. Like I can't even explain the urge to chew ice. I've definitely also noticed a lot of shortness in breath. Um, I don't know, especially at night, I feel like when I'm laying down, I feel myself like gasping for air as if I can't breathe. I think it's because he's definitely like obviously growing and he's moving up more or at least stretching. I wouldn't say moving up more because I still feel so much pressure down low, but now it's like there's pressure down low and now there's like a ton of pressure up top. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. That's the end of my 28 week pregnancy update. I know it was short and sweet, but nothing too intense has changed this week. Everything's pretty much the same. You know, a lot of pressure having to pee all the time, you know, all the good stuff. Um, the only thing that's really changed is my craving for smells. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe down below so you get notified when I make videos and I will see you in the next one.